All right, today's quick tip is going to be how to make your text object or text render object face the player. As you run around the level, it will rotate and face you. So as you run over here, as you can see, number seven rotates with me as I move about. And when I go under it, it doesn't do anything weird. It rotates with me. So very simple little premise. Let's try this out and show you how to do it real quick. So the object I'm using is a text render object, which easily is found in the search. Type in text, text render, drag and drop, and this is your object you want to use. So let's put something right in the middle of the level. Let's make it look like, and I'm not going to rotate it uh, currently. I'm just going to leave it at zero zero or the rotation at zero zero zero. So let's put in my text real quick. Uh, let's put in good thing these. Great are here. So as we don't fall in the so on. Kind of a dumb dumb text, but whatever. Alright, so we've got this in the level. Uh, let's make sure it's there. This is important. You're saying why do you have to test it? Because there's nothing worse than you do all the work and you can get there and you realize you put it in the wrong part of the level or something really weird happened. Test each step. Okay, when it's done, next let's go to our level blueprint, which is blueprints, open level blueprint. So we're going to have it fire off on uh, every tick or every frame. This is the current one that's set up. Let's break this link. And what we need to do is get set world rotation. And it should find it quite easily. It's a function. And we got to make sure it says target is scene component. Now, obviously, our scene component is that text render object. So while that text render object is selected, let's right click here and click context sensitive, create a reference. Connect it to the target, and it also corrects, connects this little sub node. I don't know what this little link here is called. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add local rotation, and again it says target is scene component. This is very important. You may get nodes that are uh, have very similar functionality titles or maybe exactly the same but you gotta make sure this says target the scene component target the scene component sometimes it'll say other other descriptions under it and it will not work or will work strangely so this also is my target and next we need to do is break the transform at the rotation Break, transform. And in case the lines are starting to crisscross here, let's zoom this out. It's getting kind of small. Back, so let's move this out of the way. Keep it nice and clean. There we go. So we're not done yet. Don't take a screenshot yet. Next, we need to get our actor locate our actor transform. I'm sorry, which is going to be the player controller. So get actor transform, which I misspelled, and uncheck context sensitive. Get actor transform. Like I said a million times, context sensitive is your best friend and worst enemy. And get player controller. connect there 
All right, time to take a screenshot. There it is. So this is our text render object in the level. We're setting the world rotation. We're adding local rotation to this text object. And the new rotation is based on our player controller. And this is firing off every frame, so it can be expensive. And we could come up with simpler ways, but that's another tutorial for optimization, which we don't need right now. So compile, just to make sure. Let's hit play. Oh, and it's backwards. So what we need to do, it is rotating with us nicely. But it's 100 degrees off. So go back to our level blueprint and add local actor rotation at the Z. It's probably going to be, what, negative 80 or 180. Put negative 180, compile, play. There we go. That's it. Follows us around the level. quick, easy, fun solution make your level much cleaner, much more interesting. Having these things follow you around the middle of the level with conversation pieces, clues that appear, disappear, make your level feel way smarter and more interesting than having to turn and realign your player to read them, etc. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.